Right, so I'm Chris Iyer, I'm with YSI, and uh, we have the Castaway CTD. It's a new product from YSI, and it's a portable, castable uh, instrument that measures conductivity, temperature, and depth. It will also give you a um, speed of sound calculation, and it has a built-in GPS unit in it. So the product from the company comes just like this in this nice little carrying case. And everything is all in the case that you need, uh, starting with, uh, obviously, the Castaway is here, which we'll get on in a minute, but right away we start you off with the batteries. We start you off with the um, USB drive that has the software on it and a Bluetooth modem so you don't have to deal with Bluetooth connections or anything on your own. It has retainer clips for hooking in a rope and it has uh, equipment for cleaning the instrument as well. So this is the Castaway. It's a self-contained unit. It has a rubber boot on it to protect the instrument and to allow you to have a um, connection point. But the instrument itself is just simply right in here. It runs off of two AA batteries, and it's rated down to 100 meters. The unit uses a um, magnetic, magnetic tipped stylus to turn it on, and once it's on, I don't know if you can see it, it actually turned on when I put in the batteries. Uh, so it has a satellite link at the top. Uh, it gives you your battery voltage, and then there's just simply four icons that you move through. The first one is your cast, uh, this, so we can go in there, and it's actually going to get a G try to get a GPS fix and then start its cast. At the moment, we're standing under a canopy, so we're not going to get it, so we'll just get out of there for a minute. And then the next icon is your last cast, so you can view the cast data. So this is a cast that we did yesterday, and we can step through, and we can view all the different casts that are on the... Um, CTD itself, and as well as move through and see the individual plots. So there's a temperature plot, and there's the conductivity plot, the salinity plot, and then that's the speed of sound. And then we also have a single point uh, operation that allows you to take single point measurements. So this would, might be useful if you did want to do something like strapping it to an AUV. And then finally, some management information, uh, like the folder of files that you have on here, some of the current readings as well. So what we can do is we can, um, actually we can uh, just simulate a uh, cast, even though we don't have satellite coverage at the moment. So we would simply go to the cast icon, we would start the cast, we would get a GPS fix. Typically you'll get uh, 15 satellites, but the most you need is three. Uh, once you have a good satellite coverage, that comes up fairly quickly. You simply start your cast, it tells you in about five seconds the screen is going to close, and you simply throw it over at this point, let it free fall to the bottom. When it hits the bottom, you bring it back up, and you simply stop the cast. It'll give an ending GPS fix, provided you have, you're not standing under a canopy and you have satellite coverage, and then you're done. And so then when you get back, it's just a matter of hooking the unit into a, um, I'm sorry, hooking the Bluetooth modem into your computer, you download the data from the unit, and then you can view it on your computer. And if you want, in a second, I can grab the computer and show you what that looks like. All right. Sounds good. Great. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, Chris, again. Now he's going to show us what happens when we bring our Castaway CTD in-house and plug it into our computer. Okay. Great, Doug. Thanks. So we have the Castaway. We, we brought it inside to get out of the heat. Mm -hmm. um, it has Bluetooth communication between this and the laptop. So we're just simply going to launch our Castaway software. Actually, I already have it up. So we bring up our Castaway software, we go to our devices, and we see it's actually already established communication with the devices, and it automatically downloaded the file. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the info. So it's going to refresh everything from the CTD, and it's going to give us the current battery life, 74%, uh, and it's downloaded all the data. So now we can go to the data file, and here's a... Um, a graphical interface of all of the data. It comes up as a map. Um, we actually have five casts that we had done yesterday uh, with the CTD. And so they've all come up here. We can pull them all up at the same time. We can also zoom out and, and see this at a larger view. So if we had them all over the world, we would, um, uh, we would have them in there. I'm actually... Uh, offline, so it's not updating uh, in real time. I've got it set to update the maps in real time. But this is uh, Oxford, Maryland, and we're right off the pier, and there's all five of our casts, and they're all plotted up over here. 
And we can look at just one single cast. This is a cast at a buoy that we have. So the buoy is sitting in uh, approximately five and a half meters of water. And um, you can see the salinity profile from yesterday as well as the temperature profile. Okay. Very good. And then uh, are you able to import or export this data to another okay. format? We can. That's a good question. We can export uh, the full file. So if we just go to export files, we're going to export our single file, and we can choose the format. So we want to do our castaway um, with the edits if we've done any editing. And then we have uh, the export packaging is just as a single file. I see you uh, along with Castaway with edits, you've also got a uh, MATLAB. And That's right, there's a MATLAB export as well as a high pack if you're using high pack. Okay. And you can also just do a comma separated value with the, he with the header info in place for all of your parameters. Perfect. So if we just go ahead and do that, yeah. choose a location for it, we'll just do it right to the desktop. And that's done. Come out to the desktop, open up our file. And you can see now you have your header information, which is the device name identified by serial number, the start time of the cast, that, that it was a cast, that we had our GPS location, it gives you the latitude and longitude of the cast itself, along with other GPS information. And then you get down into your um, starting conductivity and temperature, and then into the cast data itself. Excellent. All right. Thank, thank you very much. You're welcome, Doug. Thank you. Bye -bye.